Okay, you guys, welcome to tonight. We are doing the methodology section and I'm super excited about it because this is where you get into the meat of the research. So we were just talking about food. We um, heard about HelloFresh and we also heard about Blue Apron and I'm totally sold. So you can hear more about that conversation a little bit later, but I'll let you guys know what I find out. But just like diving into um, a meal, you guys are actually diving into the research now. So we talked about it. Now we're actually going to do it. So I do have a confession to make. I officially spent six hours last night, um, well, yesterday and last night, trying to replicate what I've done um, with Twitter like a couple of years ago, even last year. And so Twitter does not allow you, unless someone's figured it out, does not allow you now to capture multiple tweets. So I'm saying that by... Um, like say for instance, I did the, uh, oh goodness, the health ministry of India. And so basically I um, captured all of their tweets from like the 1st of June um, of this year to the uh, end of August. And so within that time frame, they posted like a lot of tweets. And so one thing that I will show you is, let me see how, let me see how many tweets they actually did during that time frame. So I will say it took a long time to do this. Okay, so they posted 510 tweets during that time frame. It was a lot. It was a lot to analyze. It was a lot to do. Now Twitter, I've tried on uh, Safari. I've tried on Chrome. I've tried on two different, three different computers. I cannot capture tweets like I did a couple of years ago. So um, that's good news for you guys because we're not going to do as many tweets um, if you're doing Twitter. If you're doing Facebook, we'll see how many you can capture. I did try Facebook. Um, you can capture them. It works out very well. So if you're doing Facebook, that's good news. So I'm gonna show you two different ways of looking at the data, and then we will dive into what um, questions you may have. And then I wrote down some tips. So I woke up at four o'clock this morning because this bothered me. This bothered me. And I wanted to, I didn't want to, um, you know, abandon ship. I didn't want to abandon this research because you guys have worked so hard on it. So I'm like, they're doing something. And so what um, I decided to do is I am going to see something. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Ori. Um, what I decided to do is um, you are not going to analyze 550 tweets. The other classes have done that. I want y'all to like me. So, <laughs> so you guys are not going to do that. But what we are going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. And let's see if I, for some reason, let's open. Okay, let me open the data analysis. Let's see, I just had it up, but yeah, here we are. But you guys are actually going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to walk you through this and then I, I'm going to pause for some questions and then we will, I have some suggestions for each group. So um, basically this document, um, can you still see my screen or no? Yes, no. Sorry, we only see one. It says update the methods and purpose, group two, okay. group five. We see your notes, I think. Perfect. I wrote notes for each group. Oh, okay. So, um, Jess, and I have some suggestions for each group as well. Thank you so much, Bailey. So um, basically what um, I did was I can't capture more than six tweets at a time. And especially when you're comparing six tweets to 510, it's it's going to take a lot to do five tweets at a time to get to 510. So we're not doing that. So, um, and the other class we talked about qualitative versus quantitative. And so qualitative is basically the, the, cont the content or the numerical content on um, the numbers. Um, so say the 550, that's going to be the, the quantitative piece. We're not doing that. We're going to do the qualitative piece. We're going to look at the quality of the message. We're going to see what elements the message has in it. And then we're also going to use that to make suggestions for, um, like say for instance, for me, I looked at Canada and I looked at the US. So I looked at two, um, two accounts, the CDC and also Health and Human Services from the US. And I looked at Canada's CDC uh, or equivalent of the CDC and the um, National Health or Public Health of Canada. And so um, what I, 
am going to do at the end and what you guys are going to do at the end, you're going to make suggestions for other public health, national public health, federal public health agencies. So whether those um, agencies are in Mexico or those agencies are in the Dominican Republic or in the UK, they can look at your research and, or even state agencies, they can look at your research and basically say, you know, I might want to incorporate these in my tweets from now on, especially since they're getting more engagement or they're getting more people to um, respond to, to it in the form of a question. So, I am first going to show you what I did to get the tweets and then I'll show you how we analyzed it. But feel free to stop me along the way because this is going to be intense, intense in a good way. Okay, so what I did, and I'll take two steps back. What I did was that I went to the advanced search. Let's see, did that create one over here? Let's move it. Okay, I did the advanced search. So advanced search. Twitter. And this is a tool that isn't utilized a lot. Um, has anyone used the advanced search yet on Twitter? Awesome. Awesome. That's what we're using like today. That's how we're pinpointing. Okay. Yes. The I, um, yes. I sent our group a link on a step-by-step -step how to do it. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, do you need that link to I can, get into that? Yeah, I can drop the link that basically describes how to do what she's doing with Excellent. screenshots. Let me get it real quick. I'm like, y'all just made my day. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to share. I actually also tried to figure out how to do it on Facebook and yes. they have thus removed it uh, unless you can go into classic mode, but you can only do it by the year. You can't do it by the month anymore, which is also very glitchy if you do it by year or if you search keywords, um, it, it it's not organized. Even if you put it as most recent, it yeah, it's a mess on Facebook. Bailey on Facebook, I was was able to do it by the month yesterday. Yeah. You go into classic mode? <laughs> okay, teach me your ways. Okay, so now I'm like, hmm. So let me, okay, we'll we'll look at Twitter first and then I'll jump into um, to Facebook, but you guys don't let me forget. Okay, so say for instance, I looked at, um, we'll just say CDC, Dot geo or not gov but cdc gov and so that is from this account from these accounts so i'm just looking at cdc gov and so i am going to scroll down the cool thing is you can look at if you wanted to you could look at like maximum engagement by like minimum replies or minimum likes or minimum retweets so you could do that if you wanted to however we are just going to look at tweets that um, I'm looking at back to school. So a lot of parents, a lot of school districts, a lot of um, government officials were really, really antsy about back to school. So I decided to just look at, even though my research said we're going to look at six months, I can't download six months of tweets within the time frame that we have for this week. So we're going to make this easy, manageable, digestible. I'm just looking at August. So I'll look at August the 1st, 2021 to August the 31st, 2021. Okay, there is something that I need to do that I want to make sure that we, oh, one other thing. Um, so if we were looking at all those tweets, we'll just say the government, um, they're averaging like three tweets a day. So we'll just say it's going to be around 90 tweets. That's still too much for me right now. And I'm just looking at back to school. So I'm not going to include a hashtag, but what I am going to do is I want to include the word school. So I want to include the word school for um, the CDC. I want to include the word school for all three of the other accounts as well. So just as a recap, I looked at, let's see, there we are. I looked at school. I looked at um, from the CDC gov account. And then I also looked between the dates of August 1st, 2021 and August the 31st, 2021. Now here's the thing. This system is kind of glitchy. So after you use this search, you can't use the back button to say, okay, well, I've done the CDC this time. I need to do another agency next time. It will not let you do that, but I do have a hack for you. So let's go ahead and search. And so this is bringing up all of the tweets. Well, actually not yet. You have to go to latest to see all of the tweets during that time period. So that um, those tweets range, range between August the 30th. And so as you can see, it says CDC gov school, and then it has the um, 
information um, between those two time frames. So we can see all of the tweets. One thing I want you to keep in mind, don't worry about these promoted tweets. They're just trash right now. So don't worry about those, but just really look at the CDC tweets. So what I did was that I, um, for instance, I clicked below that tweet and I scrolled up. So that's including all the tweets from, let me do this with my mouse. And I scrolled up so that I did like four tweets at a time. And I pasted this on the Google spreadsheet. So um, and I'll just create a new tab under do not use for, let's see. Okay, let's just do a new tab. Okay, so when I pasted those tweets, I just put it in the A column. And I always drag it out so I can see the complete tweet. And so that gives you not only the tweet, but that gives you the, there we are, that gives you the comments, that gives you the number of retweets. So on the top is comments, then retweets, then you see the number of favorites for that tweet. I'm gonna pause right quick. Did I lose anyone so far? I'm just really upset right now. I'm emotionally upset. I've spent all day manually doing what you're doing in five minutes. And I, I've, I'm only like on, I think I'm like six days in on Twitter. Like I, you can see all my work, everything. That I did. <laughs> but here's the thing. If you're six days in, um, which month did, did you choose? Uh, March. Okay. Why did you choose March? Um, because we broke up the months. Um, and so I, I was like, okay, I'll start today. And I started with March. That's perfect. So I want you in your paper, when you guys go back to your paper to explain why you chose this one week, one week in March. Okay. So if, how many tweets have you seen so far within that time period? There's a lot. I mean, okay. there's gotta be at least Can like 30. 30 is good. Now, that's which, which account are you agency. doing right now? Yeah, which that's agency? one agency. That's um, in the UK, the DHSC Gov UK. So within those tweets, okay. Yeah, I've done the 24th through the 30th. And 24. there's a lot. <laughs> through the 30th. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you have 30 and you guys are doing how many accounts? Four. We're doing two, um, two Twitter, two Facebook. Okay, two Twitter, two Facebook within, we'll just say a week can represent a snapshot because these agencies are like tweeting like nobody's business. I mean, like seriously. And so if you chose like that week, so Bailey, your work is not all in vain. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so choose that week, use that week, not only for those two Twitter accounts, but also use that week time frame, And I'll show you how to do that on Facebook for that Facebook, those Facebook accounts as well. I think that would be good because it's literally right after it was declared a pandemic on March 11th. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at, you know, starting on the 24th, that gives people plenty of time to spew massive amounts of misinformation. So that's going to give us a really good uh, eagle eye look at the very beginning of what it is. Right. And then it's just very interesting. The I wanted I chose the month of March to start off with because that's when it first started. Um, and you see how like in the beginning, you're like, we're on top of the game. We know what we're doing. And then you just see it unfold within like within a week. And then by the 24th, like you just see the comments of the trolls, just like, what are we doing here? You just see the anger and the angst and they were actually reporting incorrectly and they would wait 24 hours and be like, Hey, those weren't the full numbers. And like, it was just like the animosity growing uh, that like these situations that they did was creating mistrust and they were going elsewhere because they weren't, they just kept um, like last week recycling information. They recycled the same information every single day, posted the same thing every single day. Um, and you know what? Actually, Bailey, 
write that down. Like I, I research with a notebook. So I always have a, a notebook by me. Write I'm that down. Blow your mind. Notebook. Yes. I have the remark. <laughs> Keep that in your notebook because you're going to use it for your conclusions. Right. And so I was taking notes of like, oh, this is a repeat. Oh, this is a repeat. This is re like they're re redoing it. All that. And like the same, it's like as if they just copy and pasted it um versus kind of how we learned last week is how to like kind of tweak it a little bit so it looks new uh it's just a regurgitation every time so that's and you're like are they in in a mode that they're like okay we're in crisis mode we have to get something out like i just wonder why so that's that's interesting they even did a hashtag covid 2019 like no. 2019. <laughs> They've done every variation of COVID, hashtag COVID, hashtag COVID-19, hashtag coronavirus, like consecutively. But the funniest one was, I just I hadn't seen that one is, I know it started in 2019, but it was like COVID 2019. And it was in Mar like March of 2020 is when they put that. Oh, are you, wow. Wow. Yeah, it was weird. Wow. I mean, now I'm getting what you're saying. That, yeah. Okay. I have to see that one. Okay. So here, I'll tell you the date. I'll, I'll look at the date in a minute. Okay. Very cool. So you guys, um, that is what I did to get here. So what I did um, was like, say for instance, health and human services, or since we were talking about the CDC and I have it up, I'm going to go to the CDC tab. I have a tab at the bottom for each of the accounts. So as you can see, it's like HHS, CDC, gov, dot, or not, I keep saying CDC.gov, CDC.gov, gov can help, and CDC of BC. So that basically means that I can click either of these and go immediately to those um, tweets. So when I pasted these CDC tweets, I want you guys to keep in mind that the same thing so these columns columns b through b through where z so i have 24 23 um different columns each of those columns are going to be the same on the first tab so health and human services and cdc gov and gov can help and cdc at bc does anyone know why those columns are important Having consistency is important. And I'll just tell you guys, it's important because you are going to use these columns to make your tables in the next section of the paper. We're not focused on that this week, but you wanna be as organized as possible. So that means when I was going through CDC or CDC.gov, I wanted to make sure, especially when it comes to the blue column, anything with vaccine, anything with COVID-19, <coughs> excuse me, anything with the Delta variant, anything that's a retweet that they retweeted from others. I wanted to make sure that that was very, very um, organized and consistent because if not, your next section is going to be very difficult to complete. So that means when I got finished with health and human services and then I went to CDC gov, I literally pasted or what I did was I took this and I went to duplicate and I duplicated that sheet and I put the tweets in column A. So say for instance, here's, and I need to do this anyway. I'll walk you through what I just did. So I'm going to column B and then I'll go over each column. I'm going to column B and I am going to go over to column Z. And Gov Can Help, I haven't done that one yet. Remember, I said it was four o'clock this morning and I couldn't sleep because I wanted you guys to have some good stuff. So what I will do is I will put those pasted columns over here. So I'm just copying and pasting. This data is not valid now. So what I will do is I will go to the upper left-hand corner. And don't worry, guys, I uh, will share a spreadsheet with you if you haven't created one already, and I will help you along the way. Do not worry at all. So I will go all the way to, we'll just say, 
the last row and I deleted every, I deleted everything that was in that column. And it's slow because I have several screens open right now. It's coming up. So with CDC gov, it was supposed to delete everything that was in those columns. Just give me one second. Okay, so I am going all the way from three B to and I'm just, just pressing delete to make sure all of that is deleted because we don't do not want data from a another account to be on this account. Okay, so let me make it larger again. Okay, so let's look at the, I don't know why it's so small. Okay, so let's look at the first tweet. Y'all, I just realized something. It's easy to fix, but I deleted the data from my CDC account and it's supposed to go on GovCan Hill. So did you guys see what I just did? I deleted the information from the other sheet, um, but it's easy to get your data back. So that would have been bad. So I am now on GovCan Hill. And what I will do is I'm going to delete these columns. Delete columns B and C. And one thing that I did for this search is that I pasted like what's on my left-hand side of my screen, like the Twitter search. I actually included that for GovCan Health. So anytime I need to go back and refer to tweets, I just have to click that link and it leads me to all the tweets that were posted between the 1st of August until the end of August. So basically what's on my left-hand screen is on my right-hand screen right now because it was on the spreadsheet. Is everyone with me so far? I just clicked that and that led me to my search. So that link is very, very important because that link is going to lead you to the Twitter search, if you ever need to reply back to or to refer back to a tweet. Okay, did you get me so far? Or Okay. So say for instance, the first one is um, to keep everyone safe at schools, we need as many children 12 plus vaccinated as possible. If your child is 12 plus, book their vaccination appointment as soon as possible, and then it has the link. So I'm putting a one for, twi for tweet count, and that one is important because then at the end of your, your um, or in the next section of your paper, you're gonna say how many tweets actually um, emerged in like from this governmental agency about back to school, or at least for me, back to school. So the easiest way for me to do it is to put a one every time I see a tweet, and at the end, I can automatically calculate it on, on um, Excel, well, not Excel, but um, sheets. So this one is COVID related. So I'm hitting a one for COVID related. This is not a repeat tweet. So what you were talking about before, Bailey, that would be a repeat tweet. So if they posted that tweet several times a week. I'm putting a repeat tweet because it's showing that that account's being really lazy, especially if they're responsible for outreach. It, they are not retweeting anything. Um, Okay, so for comments, they had 15 comments, they had 59 retweets, and they had 82 likes. And what I did for these columns, I put these because every time you paste it, 
they're going to like basically come up in that order, comments, retweets, likes, comments, retweet, likes. So basically I'm like, okay, to keep my brain sane, I'm gonna make sure that E, F, and G always appears in comments, retweets, and likes. Does that make sense for everyone? So then that leads me to the message components. Yellow is basically the background information about a tweet and then blue for me, because I like to color code everything, that basically tells me the different components of that tweet. One other thing I want to do is I'm going to go to column A and I am going to view and I'm going to, to freeze column A. So that means even if I scroll over all the way to Z, I can still see that tweet, especially if I'm putting information in there about it. So that one did talk about the vaccine. Did this one talk about COVID-19? Or did it include the hashtag COVID-19? Do you have the tweet pulled up? Is that the one that's to the left? 7A. Mm -hmm. OK. And actually, that was hashtag vaccine and hashtag COVID-19. So it did not include either of those. It didn't refer to the Delta variant. It was not a retweet from other people. So they weren't retweeting something from the US or anything. It did not include the, the hashtag back to school. It did include a link. And the link is very important because they're trying to make sure that you're linked to information. So you are, um, you are participating in this call to action. So that they did include a link. I do not know if it included an um, emoticon. So what I will do is I will go back to my link to the search. And now on Twitter, I can actually see with that tweet and that tweet was to keep everyone safe at school. So I'm going to look for that tweet that was posted on the 30th to keep everyone safe at schools, at schools. And this one did not include any emoticon, so we don't have to put that there. Okay, it did include a link. It did not refer you to another account. It did have a call to action. What was the call to action in this tweet? To get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Book their appointment as soon as possible. This does not include any other hashtags, so that's not a good thing. Um, this one was, was it an infographic? Let's drag this over. Okay, it was not an infographic, or I don't think it was one. Um, it did not include a video. It was a picture but it was a picture with text. So it has the picture and then it says, you protect them every day. So that's a picture with text. I did see a mask in the picture and it did not have a moving graphic. And I'm saying moving graphic, like some of the things that I've seen have like moving graphics. Um, they're not necessarily videos, but it's a moving graphic to get you engaged. It's about 15 seconds. And if it's a moving graphic, it also has views on it as well. And it was not a podcast. So basically, I put a one in each of those columns. Can you tell me why putting a one is very important, especially if you want to keep things organized? Well, this is what you're going to pull your data from, and it will populate into your charts if you're creating a pivot chart. Yes, ma'am. And even if you do not create a pivot chart, remember we had India. And one thing I do want to pinpoint from India is all I had to do is, let me erase this and I'll just show you what this looks like. So with the study on India, I'm just going to erase that. And you guys, this was 6,000 rows of tweets. So I'm being very, very nice this semester, y'all. It was a lot. So- and for that, we thank you. <laughs> so Incredible gonna... amounts of gratitude. Incredible. You guys are so welcome. But I really want you to dig into like the quality of those tweets because you're really doing something that's groundbreaking right now um, because a lot of universities are not. So I am clicking um, 11C 
and I am going to go over to the left hand side to make sure I'm all the way down. It would take a lot of time for me to count all 6,000 rows of these tweets. So I am trying to work smarter, not harder. And I am going to basically highlight all of those. And I am going up to the Sigma for auto sum. And it's thinking. Maybe it didn't do it. Sorry, guys. One more time. So I'm in that row. I'm scrolling all the way down. It's a lot of information. Oh, it did it. So it's 510 tweets. It would have taken me forever to automatically, I mean, to count each of those. So that's why the ones are very important. Not only are they important for that, but they are also very important for the likes, the replies, whether or not it included a hashtag, it automatically calculated that by me just dragging that over. It's automatically calculating these as well. And it's automatically calculating the rest of the columns. That's why those ones and the numbers are so important. When you get into the next section of your paper, you're going to, for instance, say this tweet or uh, six tweets emerged in the category of public anxiety, and you're going to give them example of what public anxiety actually, or what a tweet focused on public anxiety actually was. So it's important um, that you have these six, and so you can basically find the tweets that refer to that category super easily because you have a one in that column. Tell me what questions you have so far. I think looking at it like not only just Twitter, but Facebook as well, since we've got those four groups that we're looking at, um, just making sure that we're in a similar space with Facebook. If okay. you can just kind of walk through that. I definitely will. Um, but this is super helpful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A few questions, because I'm just full of those. Um, something, there are like a few uh, today was a learning process for me on Twitter because I am not a Twitter fan. I don't, I am not a Twitter person. Um, is that by doing what you did, it only does retweets, um, comments and, um, likes, mm -hmm. but it's like a rounded number by clicking on it individually. It gives you the specific number something that I was falling into, but then also for our group, we're focusing on misinformation. And so mm -hmm. I actually collected how many people quoted that tweet. So they kind of had their own spiel on it um, because, um, but it wouldn't let me see it. And I don't know if that was because we're on a specific time. But it wouldn't let me see what the quoted tweets were, but I thought it was important to, um, to keep track of that because with those retweets, only some of them are quoted tweet, re sorry, quoted <laughs> tweets and some are just actually just sharing. So you kind of, I don't know. I have to figure out how you can see what's quoted so you can see what the public is saying. But so I broke, is that not important to have exact numbers and to clarify which ones are quoted and which ones are not quoted? So here's, here's the interesting piece. I, to have the, the rounded numbers, it, that's okay. It's okay to have the rounded numbers. It will say like one point or 1.5 and that represents 1,500. It's okay that have the rounded numbers and we'll basically just say in the, in the study that um, why we decided to use the rounded numbers. Here's the other thing. The people that you're looking at didn't necessarily consent to being part of a research study. So um, it's very important, you know, they don't want to see their tweet, you know, in a, in a paper or in a presentation. But one thing I will say is, can you pinpoint I'm just wondering, can you pinpoint some terms that would include misinformation potentially? So um, there was one paper that, and you know how people were drinking bleach and people were drinking, um, what's the, the horse uh, formula that people are- The dewormer? Yes. I forgot, I can't think of the name, but yeah, the, the horse dewormer. Mm -hmm. 
So um, I'm just wondering, are they like- Invermectin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so if you look at those key terms of items that the agencies are trying to combat or trying to you know, get ahead of, that could be potentially, because I'm, if I'm going back to your purpose and your research questions, that could potentially be how they are combating or addressing misinformation. So one thing they did do with their, I guess their, their doctor person um, is that they had hashtag ask Dr. H. And I think what they were doing was the most um, Googled uh, questions they were answering. Like, what do I do if I'm told to stay home? um because of COVID-19 and like they were doing like googled and then they're like ask this person um and they actually did a whatsapp where you could direct they, where there's a bot you communicate when you have your questions in there they're pulling from that and that, I feel like that's how they were combating but they he would have this like almost like a Q&A like this is the question that's being asked by mass people but he would uh, put that in one of the tweets for that agency like he was verbally saying it like in a video and the oh. videos were getting more view so another thing that we were recording is how many views the videos are getting because the videos are getting more hits than the reactions um, so did yeah. he post that video as a reply or as a reaction or was that video? It was, it was a tweet. It was just, a, it was a recording of him talking. It was a tweet and it was just like, ask, this is the question. And then like, you can do hashtag ask Dr. H or something, Hillary, something Hillary oh. Jones. Um, and so they were a lot of topics that are being misrepresented or misinformed. He was addressing those early on. So potentially to make sure that we're able to accomplish everything, you know, during this week, I would recommend that your group look at misinformation as the communication addressing the misinformation. Um, so like you, your group, instead of the columns that I have, or maybe you'll have like similar columns that, that I have, but maybe one of your columns would also include like addressing misinformation. So the ask Dr. H, that would be like part of the addressing misinformation. So that's how you would code it. And so what we're doing right now is we're coding. So what I did was if it was towards misinformation, um, we have a column for that. And what we typed in, what it, what type of like, so symptoms, like what, what are the symptoms? Because, and it was showing a video of different symptoms because they are like, they didn't know the symptoms at the time in March or mm -hmm. something like that. So we have a column and we just type in what, is addressing so that we can cat like because in our paper i think it says we're going to categorize them and so mm -hmm. that's how we're categorizing um like that tweet is towards this misinformation and i think we're going to hone in and only focus on certain um misinformation so that we can't so because there's so many we're focusing on a few so say if you guys had misinformation as a we'll just and i have that in the for like above everything um let's see so say misinformation would go here. And then maybe it's um, symptoms. Oh, my brain's tired right, right now, sorry. Causes. Um, the, I, the dewormer drug, um, if you're seeing that, don't do these before you see the information. So don't make your columns before you see the information, if that makes sense. So everything in, in yellow, you guys are going to, to have, but everything in blue, you're not necessarily going to have because you're going to let the information guide your categories. Another big one was um, who can get COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and they had to, they started like, only these people can get. And then, so then they changed it. So a lot of it is like, they've changed it and they've adapted because they've gotten better research. And so- people are kind of still stuck with what they originally said and not following. So that was like, another thing was like, who's at risk like of, of contracting it was a big one. But under misinformation, you could put, um, you know, who is at risk and you could also include that on there as well. So that would be your, the item that's above your different categories. So you're basically putting all those items under the misinformation category. So everything in blue for your team, would be misinformation and then you would put the different categories under misinformation.
I hope that makes sense. So we, okay, so say for instance, you have your misinformation and then you would have um, causes. If one tweet said cause causes, another tweet could have um, uh, treatment. Or if you wanted to get super specific in like the types of treatment, treatment um, another could be like uh, who gets it or y'all my brain, susceptible. So you could have that on here as well, but it's basically the categories that you guys want to create, make sure they're consistent between the tabs down here with one, two, three, and four, but just make sure they're consistent. Okay. Do you have any misinformation that you're looking for for us? We want to make sure that we're we're hitting the marks on everything. So are there any topics that you're interested in hearing about? Let your research guide your categories. So if I came in out and and I said, oh, we'll look for these categories, you wouldn't be doing a semi-grounded theory or grounded approach because I'm giving you, you categories or your group is giving you categories. You're letting the data, the tweets or the social media data guide the creation of your categories. So um, I am going to leave this for a second. Um, any, so, oh, we have chat. Let's see, Avermectin, thank you, Jorge. Let's see, try it out, good, good, okay. I also have a question. Sure. Um, so if we're going to let the information kind of guide our tweets or whatever, can it be different for each one? Like, cause if we're going to split it up to where like Bailey does the UK Twitter, I would do like, um, U S Twitter. What if we're getting dif different information and those columns are going to be kind of different? Like we would have vaccine and COVID-19 and maybe she would see more of like face masks or treatment, um, or do they have to be the same across the board? If you're going to add it on yours you need to also add it on theirs as well. So okay. if you come up with a new like face mask category, so say for instance, that is what all of these over here, and great question, by the way, um, all of these over here, like mask and picture that I did not start out with that. But then I realized like, hey, everyone in these pictures are wearing a mask on this, on GovCan Health or, or CDC. I also need to add that to HHS. Okay, good deal. Great question. Okay, any questions about the spreadsheet? I'll have one window up showing the tweet and then I would have another window up that's basically um, your data analysis window. But if your group does not have a spreadsheet, I'm sending that to you tonight. And I please, may we please have a spreadsheet? Yes, I, although we already have spreadsheet. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. And what I will do, I will keep these first yellow pieces. I will keep that on your group spreadsheet so you have like a starting point. So there's that piece. All right. So I am going to go to Facebook, but before I do that, I do have some things I want your group to keep in mind. All right, so for the um, for group two, you're looking at um, Louisiana Department of Education, you're looking at Facebook, you're looking at Twitter, and you're also looking at Texas, and you're looking at TEA or the Texas Education Agency on Facebook and Twitter, and the Center for, for, Disease, for Disease Control. I would choose four of those. I wouldn't choose all of those because you could re basically be researching all day. I would choose four. I would probably recommend looking at maybe um, a week's worth or maybe two weeks worth of, um, of information, depending on how much it is. I would, I would err on the side of looking at between 30 or we'll just say between 20 and 40 tweets. Um, so whether that's two weeks or whether that's one week for these agencies, you're going to let that guide how, how much data you pull. So with the Louisiana Department of Education, I would probably look at Facebook and Twitter and I would look at TEA's, um, TEA's group as well. But now that I'm looking at this, y'all, 
if you're looking at just, are you going to look, and I'm talking to Jorge and let me see who else is from the group. I'm here. Okay, Ani. I was like, I think Ani's here. So if I'm looking at group two, I would recommend that your group, you could either look at it a couple of different ways. You could look at Twitter, like LA Believes and TEA Info. And you could look at all tweets that have either COVID-19, not a hashtag, but just like the phrase, COVID-19, Corona, mask, you know, all of the terms that have to do with COVID, if that makes sense, on Twitter. So just like I did the advanced search earlier, you would put in, and let's actually do that so we can see what's out there. So like I said, I had a hack for you guys. This is my hack. So we have, let me move this over so I can see. Okay. So we have Gov Can Health, but we can also, so I don't have to retype or redo that advanced search. I can take that out and I can put it TEA info. And I know it says school, but let's just put in COVID. And also let's look to see how many they post in that, that month's time frame. Okay. That's interesting. I learned you can they, also save your searches as well and go back to them. Fun yes, fact. you got it. Um, I'm wondering, is it telling me this because it doesn't want me to get misinformation by searching for COVID? So let's do it this way. So I will go back to the advanced search. Well, I've also noticed, Dr. Edwards, that some of those, um, some of the Twitter sites, mm -hmm. well, and, and this can be just as easily for the Facebook too. They're not as updated as you would think. Like they almost had more updates via their actual websites than they did their mm -hmm. social media. But um, like a couple of them did really well, like the LA Believes and stuff did really mm -hmm. well. Um, keeping the live feed, so to speak, from their news press releases, as well as the tweets. Um, I don't know. It just depends. Like we might have to look at a bigger swath of time, but it still would only maybe produce 20 or 30 tweets. You know what I mean? 20 or 30 is ideal. Perfect. Is ideal. Um, let's, and what was the name of that account guys? I know I just had it. Of which one? The um, LA or Louisiana. What was it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it is. Or we'll look at TEA info. And then the dates we're looking at August the 1st, 2021 to August the 31st, 2021. Okay, fingers crossed this works. It does not want us to search for it. <laughs> of course not. So let me see. Um, let's just look just generally to see what they put out there. They're talking about Snap, Internet. He was on campus today. So they're not really talking about COVID. So that's why we couldn't find anything. Okay, so let's back this up. If we are looking, let's look at 131 and we are looking at COVID. No, 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 we're not looking at COVID. I'll get your search together, but let me know group what you guys want to do um, when it comes to, after we look at Facebook, um, let me know what you guys want to do with um, group two. If whether you just wanna look at Twitter or whether you wanna look at Facebook, but just let me know before I create your spreadsheet. For group five, let's see. 
Texas Health and Human Services. You guys are looking at Twitter, I believe. So um, I would definitely look um, at a week, week's time frame, tops two weeks time frame. Tell me why you selected that week. So say if it's August, August was great for me for back to school. But say you could look at the beginning of summer, um, potentially when school let out, or you could look at um, a holiday weekend, how they um, wanted to control the spread during the holiday weekend, but just choose a specific time frame, a week or two weeks, and let me know why you chose that. But just look at a snapshot. For group six, um, you're looking at Instagram. I have not used Instagram for research in a while, um, and I'm not logged on on Instagram on my computer, but I would say that it should be pretty easy for you to pull that information if I'm if if it still works out the way that it did a couple of years ago, um, you should still be good to go. So you're looking at two social media accounts. I would aim look. I would look at how much they are posting within a a two week time frame, and if they're only posting like once every few days, I would look at a month, um, especially for Instagram. And then for Group Seven, you're looking at Health and Human Services on Facebook and Twitter and the UK, um, I'm speaking with group seven right now, right? Okay, so um, depending on what we find on Facebook, let's, um, let's just see to make that determination. All right, guys, what questions do you have for me so far now that I've gone over? Um, with the spreadsheet, so are you only show, sending us a spreadsheet of the first half, not the whole entire thing? I. I can send you the whole entire thing if you think that could be helpful and you can just delete. Okay, as I, I was like, as like, if not, can we look at it? Cause I liked some of the things that you did. Like, um, cause those are things that I was thinking about of like different graphics. And I, I didn't know if we needed the links, if we needed that. And so uh, it's just, it's, I like some of the things that you added that you put in that I didn't even, you organized it differently than I did. And you guys, that's why I do the sample one. I wouldn't want to just put you guys out there and say, hey, do this. I always do it and then I demonstrate how we did it so you guys can use it as a template. So definitely, Bailey, definitely, definitely. Let me go to my Facebook. I'm gonna stop screen sharing one second because you never know what's happening on Facebook. So one second. And do you guys want me to go to Health and Human Services or which one? Health and Human Services. Yeah, that'd be a good one. And this is Texas Health and Human Services or National? National, it's the US Department of Health and Human Services. Perfect, okay. And it's facebook.com slash HHS, right? Okay. Okay. So let me share again. Okay, so here is the screen. Let's, Let's see what I did yesterday. Okay, I went to post. How did I get there? Do I like this page? Maybe not. Maybe I, okay. How did I get to post? So on mine is what I did is I searched um, and like search Facebook for their account. And then that shows you where you can look at posts that they've posted. That's how I, I got to post, if that helps. It does. I couldn't it figure out how to get to just post like you're doing. So I did it um, through searching Facebook versus their page. There was a little, and maybe it was classic Facebook. Um, There was a, a search, I mean, not a search bar, but it basically let me look at post within a certain time period. Now I'm wondering, one second guys, I know that it, 
Okay, what I will do is I will look for that and I will let you guys know what I find. Um, and it might mean that I need to go to old Facebook or do something weird with the screen, but um, we'll go, I'll, I'll play around with that um, after we get finished today. I said that they took away classic, but some people are still able to access it if you're using Chrome. That's and what then, I was wondering. Yeah, but I could I use Chrome and I couldn't do it. Um I I can share the the blog post that I found that was been updated and it does the steps, but it's only allowed if you are able to, because only some accounts are able to go back into classic. And I think that you can do it on your phone, is what it was saying. Our but yeah, they've taken a, it away where you can't do it. And so you're not able to do that anymore. It's basically what the consensus was of the 2021 Facebook update. Let, I'm logging in. Hey, sorry, you know, Facebook and two-factor authentication. One second. But does anyone else see the corn memes? <laughs> Which corn memes? Huh? It says related pages. It goes Fox News. Um, yes. some is, is it, and then it goes corn memes, and it's someone in a gas mask wearing uh, the Quran uh, memes. It's the COVID girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, is that the QAnon? I just finished the documentary on the QAnon or the Quranon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let me go to CDC, not CDC, Health and Human Services. Okay, I am going to resume share. Oh, if I can't do this, I'm gonna be so upset. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to check this out tonight. This is going to bother me. It's going to be another 4 a.m. thing, but it's going to happen, okay? So um, I'll look at that as well. Um, so I owe people things. Um, so I owe group, I owe everyone a spreadsheet. So I will get that done tonight after dinner. I'll also owe group the Louisiana Department of Education and Texas Department of Education, I owe you guys a, um, basically looking for TEA and COVID or TEA, what, what would you guys prefer? Well, Jorge and I were kind of figuring, trying to figure this out. Um, will you still, do you still prefer that we try to grab four different accounts from like CDC, TA, DOE, or yeah, DOE and someone else. Like I ended up pulling up uh, like uh, Louisiana School Board Association or something. Um, but it would have to be someone that I guess had enough. You want about 20 to 30 tweets from each account. Okay. If you guys are looking at, um, we'll just say Twitter, for example, and you're looking at TEA and the Louisiana Department of Education, I would look at just those two. You do not have to look at um, the, like the federal. The others. Mm -hmm. So, and with that, I would recommend that if you're only looking at two accounts, excuse me, I would look at probably getting around 30 tweets per account, 30 are a little bit more, but you're going to have to tell me why you chose that time frame. So say if it's a month or say if it's, you know, two weeks, 
tell me why you chose that time frame in July or August or what have you. Right. Like we could look around, like we could look around the quote unquote, like second surge or third mm -hmm. surge or whatever, whenever mm -hmm. the heck another surge was. But you need to say know during that time frame that the tweets focused on health or, or you know, COVID or mask or whatever. And it's not just tweets focused on books. Right, or just working at home or whatever. I mean, school at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I shared a timeline of like everything that's happened of 2020. So of uh, I think it's a um, the United States. Um, so you can kind of reference that, like, okay, around this time there was like a big lockdown, and and to to help you like hone in on certain dates to see how they reacted during different situations through the timeline. That's smart. Awesome, Bailey. Amazing. Like, I, Jorge, yeah, I like that. Jorge, did you have any other questions or did that make sense? Does that, does that work? No, nah, I mean, like you told us, that's what we had already, you know, we're uh, chatting about here. So. Yeah. So we'll just probably pick Twitter then. I don't know. Okay. I, is the search feature. It seems easier through Twitter than a search feature through Facebook. But then again, it just depends, I guess, on how much more of a account those organizations used. Mm -hmm. I concur. And also I will look in the meantime to see if I can find like TEA and the Louisiana Department of Education. Um, like if any of them are posting on like COVID or um, masking or, you know, health, or even um, if you guys even wanted to look at the learning at home, um, and like some of them gave tips on that. You could choose that time period as well. Or vaccines, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or vaccines, that's a good one. Okay. Um, so that's for group two. For group, I feel like I owe someone something else. I know we're over time now. Sorry, y'all. Y'all had some good questions. Um, we, need, we need all the time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's usually us others, other oh, groups. I'm glad you guys are here. Let me see. There was one more thing. Okay. Spreadsheets for everyone. Group two, I'm looking at your tweets. Oh, for your group. Um, no, not group two. Hold on. Who's the Louisiana and TEA? Are you guys group two? Okay. Bailey, Riley. There's seven. Seven. Thank you. For UK and US. Okay. I will look at um, Facebook because it's bothering me now. Yeah, so I tried different ways today. I spent all day making the spreadsheet and doing research. I tried you know, all the I, methods with Facebook. I gave up I'm on Facebook. For you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. That when I got your spreadsheet around like four today, I was like, yes, that's awesome. So I was really excited about that. And oh, one thing I do want to let you guys know. Um, if you update one column, you need to update that on all the sheets. Okay. So if you put like a column for healthy human services or for Louisiana, you also need to put it on Texas. Um, and then also be very thorough with your tweets. That means even if it's a minute detail, if, if, even if it's a emoticon, put that on there as a category. Um, if it's a podcast or whatever that they're referring you to, put that on there as a category. There is also a difference between a picture and like the words on a picture, you know, that are like call to action or get your vaccine or, you know, wear a mask or whatever. That's different from just a picture. So make sure that you are logging that accordingly. Um, also, I would encourage you to have the tweets up in one window or have Facebook up in one window and then on the other window. And also, Jorge, do you know how to do that on the Mac? I have a Mac too, so I was wondering. Okay, so what I will do, okay, so can you see my screen right now? Yes. Click the green button, go to tile window to the left of screen. Got it. Then the other screen, are these are the other screens that could come up? Just click that other screen. So it's right and then left. Just changed my life. It, it works wonders. I'm serious. I use it all the time. I do it by accident all the time on my iPad. And I'm like, how in the heck did I just hit that? And then I can never get out of it. <laughs> and then to, to get out of it, just click your, uh, you know, click the button again and you're good to go. 
Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. No problem, y'all. Um, watch for the ads. Make sure you don't code the ads accidentally um, that come up. And then also freeze your first column. Um, if you have any questions about how to do that, please let me know, but freeze your first column. And I can do that. Very cool, very cool. That's all I had. I'm eating leftovers tonight, y'all, so. <laughs> I love leftovers. You don't even have to cook them. No, we just warm them up. <laughs> I have one more question. So um, uh, just for clarification, I know like on the recommendations you said for us to pick one, um, do you want us to just stick with Twitter for uh, US and UK? Or would you like us to do Twitter and Facebook for both? You know what, Riley? Um, hold tight on that one because I need okay. to see if I can find a hack for Facebook. If okay. I can find okay. a hack for Facebook, it will it will work very, very well. But if I can't, okay. I don't want you know to give you guys like an undue burden, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. So let me get some some dinner. <laughs> for and, sure <laughs> we'll all get some dinner and uh then i will start digging into it just to see if i can do a workaround surely there's a workaround so um it's much I easier have... doing just one week um right. for for searching just because so much of our paper focuses on um facebook as well because mm -hmm. then we'd need to go back and like change a lot of our paper which um makes my anxiety go um through the roof so, so with, <laughs> with your paper, if you looked at, if you did state Facebook and Twitter, you would just, here's the thing, with your context of your study, you did talk about Facebook and Twitter. It's okay if you just chose to do one, but you did talk about both because you're really giving them, you know, they had X amount of followers on Facebook. They had X amount of followers on Twitter. So it's okay. We, we just have to figure out ways to tie it in. It's fine. It's fine. Don't Thank let that you. give you anxiety. We can, <laughs> papers, we can work out. Thank you. You're welcome. So what actually is due on Sunday? Like the spreadsheet or? The spreadsheet, that's it. Okay, so oh, we just- awesome. Okay, because I was worried it was everything, so I was like Me drill sergeant. I was drill sergeanting my whole group. I was like, "This is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. It's due by this day." No, I would yeah, not do that to y'all. Okay, I apologize to my group. Um, I'm sorry, I was guys. in the same boat, Haley. Like my hair was about to like just boom gone. It's like okay. I do. I start comps next Sunday, so I'm like, I get it all done. I yeah. I just need. I need a break. Um, we, I've got a 49th annual auction to put on Saturday, so I was like, "Yikes!" Uh, yikes! What? And the With, thing is, y'all have no assignments due this week. Y'all okay. have nothing else except for this. So y'all okay. can tell your group all hands on deck. Okay. Um, Thank you. With yep. Facebook, another thing that I try, I and when I say I like, I did deep dives. Um, is that when you do search, like uh, Facebook search? You type in your organization and then you can put post and you can filter it um, and you can do similar like keywords and you can do um, 2000, 2020. So I did, Mar so in the keyword or in the search of that, I did March, 2020 and it pulled up all Mar. I don't know if it was all of it, but most of the March, 2020 Facebook post through searching and then where you can click post and then by what post, um, like who did the post is similar to Twitter, um, but not as like thorough. It, it was a little glitchy. They, it threw in some other dates, but it did give me a lot of March of 2020 doing it through that way. Just through the search bar and you put in the date. And so if you go to, um, like the Facebook search and you type in the organization, you can do a advanced search or filter. And that's how I did it. And I did post and um, that's how I typed in, instead of doing like a keyword or something, I typed in the dates, I the date, the month and the year that I wanted. And it pulled okay. up a lot of it. Okay, I will try to replicate that. <laughs> okay. I'm sending a message to you, Bailey. Okay. I, um, <laughs> I did put in um, what they said. I there. I did. I posted the timeline, um, the hack of Twitter, and the only blog that I could find about Facebook um, and how to search 
in that way. I even, they've taken it off their Facebook help page too. So, um, so I have those links and that's what helped me figure that out. Okay. I will try to replicate it. If not, I will be sending a message to you mm-hmm. either, um, you know, early tonight or, or late tomorrow morning. So, all right, guys, let's go get some dinner and I'm going to actually stop recording. <laughs>